the first topic we have to discuss is the living standard okay maybe you already have a better idea than what do you mean by the living standard living standard or the standards of living refer to all the factor that contribute to a person well-being and the happiness okay simple mean that what person can afford okay this is known as living standard what kind of a brand you can afford if you can afford expensive brand you have a extreme high level of living standard okay and if you are uh, unable to you know fulfill your basic need like food water shelter then you have a very low living standard and my point it's a simple way to explain what do you mean by living standard and the uh, betterment of any person now we have a some formula that how we calculate living standard gdp per head or G gdp per capita if you remember we uh, we already have a discussion on the gdp per capita i told you the total income of the country is 100 total population is 100 okay and we wanted to distribute income equally to the all population what would we we done what we did we divide 100 divided by 100 and we get 1 and what we said that equal distribution of the income of the country is 1 and this is this one is known as gdp per capita okay or you can say this is gdp or living standard okay so this measure the average income per person in economy real gdp you already have an idea what do you mean by real gdp and the nominal gdp oh no what do you have to do real gdp per capita is equal to real gdp divided by the population this is the formula you have to calculate for a measuring living standard okay you can take a taking screenshot as well for that formula then you can get better idea that what does it mean then merits of using gdp per capita to measure the living standard now how what kind of a merit you have to calculate the living standard gdp is the useful measure of the total production taking place in a country okay any question you will get from the paper is the gdp useful measure of the total production total production taking place in the country and so indicates the material well being of the economy you will find out living standard the next it also takes population into consideration adding emphasis on the goods and services available to individual what kind of availability you have if you have a less products available in your stock it means customer have a very good living standard they can afford your product if you have too much quantity in your stock that mean customer are uh, customer don't have good living standard to afford your product correct okay? <clears throat> then since it's it calculated on output is a good indicator of the jobs being created gdp data is uh, readily available so it is population data okay so because on the basis of these merit you have to calculate the living standard now the other one human development index what we are going to do hum we are going to calculate the living standard the first one was gdp the other one is human development index normally we said is hdi human development index now what does it mean used by united nation to compare the living standard across the globe globe the sdi combine the different measure into one give sdi value from zero lowest to one highest okay now what we do we we categorize into two parts sdi the first is income index measured using the average national income gni per head adjusted for the difference in the exchange rate and the price in the different country purchasing power parity okay we will discuss it what does it mean then education index measured by how many years on average person age 25 will will have spent on education mean year of schooling and how many years young child entering the school can now be expected to spend in education in his entire life expected year of schooling and then we have a healthcare index measured by average life expectancy at birth all these things which comes into the hdi human development index how person is uh, growing in terms of his income how person is going growing in terms of education how person is growing in terms of life expectancy mean you can you are considering health care now what what are the benefits to calculate hdi it takes in account some major indicators of the living standard recognize that it is it is not just output or income that determine the living standard 
It is useful method to compare the global living standard. It is useful and reliable to measure since produced by and it is thus also widely used and recognized. There was some